Rivals, the Saxons and the Avars. The campaigns and insurrections of the Saxon Wars lasted from 772 to 804. The Franks eventually overwhelmed the Saxons and Avars, forcibly converted the people to Christianity, and annexed their lands to the Carolingian Empire. Middle Ages foundation of the Holy Roman Empire after the death of Frankish King Pippin the Short in 768, his oldest son Charlemagne, Charles the Great, consolidated his power over and expanded the kingdom. Charlemagne ended 200 years of royal Lombard rule with the siege of Pavia, and in 774 he installed himself as king of the Lombards. Low Frankish nobles replaced the old Lombard aristocracy following rebellion in 776. The next 30 years of his reign were spent ruthlessly strengthening his power in Francia and on the conquest of the Slavs and Pannonian Avars in the east and all tribes, such as the Saxons and the Bavarians. On Christmas Day, 880, Charlemagne was crowned in Prada Romanorum, Emperor of the Romans, in Rome by Pope Leo III fighting among Charlemagne's three grandsons over the continuation of the custom of partible inheritance or the introduction of primogeniture caused the Carolingian Empire to be partitioned into three parts by the Treaty of Verdun of 843. Louis the German received the eastern portion of the kingdom, East Francia, all lands east of the Rhine River and to the north of Italy. This encompassed the territories of the German stem duchies, Franks, Saxons, Swabians, and Bavarians, that were united in federation under the first non-Frankish King Henry the Fowler, who ruled from 919 to 936. The royal court permanently moved in between series of strongholds, called Kaiser Fulzen, that developed into economic and cultural centers. Aachen Palace played a central role, as the local, Palatine Chapel served as the official site for all royal coronation ceremonies during the entire medieval period until 1531. Otto the Great in 936, Otto was crowned German king at Aachen, in 961 King of Italy in Pavia and crowned Emperor by Pope John XII in Rome in 962. The tradition of the German king as protector of the Kingdom of Italy and the Latin Church resulted in the term Holy Roman Empire in the 12th century. The name, that was to identify with Germany continued to be used officially, with the extension added, Nation as Germanice, of the German nation, after the last imperial coronation in Rome in 1452 until its dissolution in 1806. Otto strengthened the royal authority by reasserting the old Carolingian rights over ecclesiastical appointments. Otto wrested from the nobles the powers of appointment of the bishops and abbots, who controlled large land holdings. Additionally, Otto revived the old Carolingian program of appointing missionaries in the borderlands. Otto continued to support celibacy for the higher clergy, so ecclesiastical appointments never became hereditary. By granting lands to the abbots and bishops he appointed, Otto actually turned these bishops into princes of the empire, Reichsfristen. In this way, Otto was able to establish national church. Outside threats to the kingdom were contained with the decisive defeat of the Hungarian Magyars at the Battle of Lechfeld in 955. The Slavs between the Elbe and the Oder rivers were also subjugated. Otto marched on Rome and drove John XII from the papal throne and for years controlled the election of the Pope, setting firm precedent for imperial control of the papacy for years to come. During the reign of Conrad I's son, Henry III, 1039 to 1056, the empire supported the Clunog reforms of the Church, the Peace of God, prohibition of simony, the purchase of clerical offices, and required celibacy of priests. Imperial authority over the Pope reached its peak. However, Rome reacted with the creation of the College of Cardinals and Pope Gregory Vice series of clerical reforms. Pope Gregory insisted in his dictatus papi on absolute papal authority over appointments to ecclesiastical offices. The subsequent conflict in which Emperor Henry IV was compelled to submit to the Pope at Canossa in 1077, after having been excommunicated came to be known as the Investiture Controversy. In 1122 temporary reconciliation was reached between Henry and the Pope with the Concordat of Worms. With the conclusion of the dispute the Roman Church and the Papacy regained supreme control over all religious affairs. Consequently the Imperial Ottonian Church system, Reichkirch, declined. It also ended the royal imperial tradition of appointing selected powerful clerical leaders to counter the imperial secular princes. 
between 1095 and 1291 the various campaigns of the Crusades to the Holy Land took place. Knightly religious orders were established, including the Knights Templar, the Knights of St. John, Knights Hospitaller, and the Teutonic Order the term Sacrum Imperium, Holy Empire, was first used officially by Friedrich in 1157, but the word Sacrum Romanum Imperium, Holy Roman Empire, were only combined in July 1180 and would never consistently appear on official documents from 1254 onwards. Hanseatic League The Hanseatic League was commercial and defensive alliance of the merchant guilds of towns and cities in northern and central Europe that dominated marine trade in the Baltic Sea, the North Sea and along the connected navigable rivers during the late Middle Ages 12th to 15th centuries. Each of the affiliated cities retained the legal system of its sovereign and, with the exception of the free imperial cities, had only limited degree of political autonomy. Beginning with an agreement of the cities of Lübeck and Hamburg, guilds cooperated in order to strengthen and combine their economic assets, like securing trading routes and tax privileges, to control prices and better protect and market their local commodities. Important centers of commerce within the empire, such as Cologne on the Rhine River and Bremen on the North Sea joined the Union, which resulted in greater diplomatic esteem. Recognized by the various regional princes for the great economic potential, favorable charters for, often exclusive, commercial operations were granted. During its zenith the alliance maintained trading posts and contours in virtually all cities between London and Edinburgh in the west to Novgorod in the east and Bergen in Norway. By the late 14th century the powerful league enforced its interests with military means, if necessary. This culminated in war with the sovereign kingdom of Denmark from 1361 to 1370. Principal city of the Hanseatic League, remain Lübeck, where in 1356 the first general diet was held and its official structure was announced. The league declined after 1450 due to a number of factors, such as the 15th century crisis, the territorial lords shifting policies towards greater commercial control, the silver crisis and marginalization in the wider Eurasian trade network among others. Eastward expansion The Ostsiedlung, lit. Eastern settlement, is the term for process of largely uncoordinated immigration and chartering of settlement structures by ethnic Germans into territories, already inhabited by Slavs and Balts, east of the Saal and Elbe rivers, such as modern Poland and Silesia and to the south into Bohemia, modern Hungary and Romania during the High Middle Ages from the 11th to the 14th century. The primary purpose of the early imperial military campaigns into the lands to the east during the 10th and 11th century, was to punish and subjugate the local heathen tribes. Conquered territories were mostly lost after the troops had retreated, but eventually were incorporated into the empire as marches, fortified borderlands with garrison troops in strongholds and castles, who were to ensure military, control and enforce the exaction of tributes. Contemporary sources do not support the idea of policies or plans for the organized settlement of civilians. Emperor Lothar II re-established feudal sovereignty over Poland, Denmark and Bohemia since 1135 and appointed margraves to turn the borderlands into hereditary fiefs and install civilian administration. There is no discernible chronology of the immigration process as it took place in many individual efforts and stages, often even encouraged by the Slavic regional lords. However, the new communities were subjected to German law and customs, total numbers of settlers were generally rather low and, depending on who held numerical majority, populations usually assimilated into each other. In many regions only enclaves would persist, like Hermannstadt, founded by the Transylvanian Saxons in modern Romania. In 1230 the Catholic monastic order of the Teutonic Knights launched the Prussian Crusade. The campaign, that was supported by the forces of Polish II Conrad of Masovia, initially intended to Christianize the Baltic Prussian tribes, succeeded primarily in the conquest of large territories. The order, emboldened by imperial approval, quickly resolved to establish an independent state, without the consent of Duke Conrad. Recognizing only papal authority and based on solid economy, the order steadily expanded the Teutonic state during the following 150 years engaging in several land disputes with its neighbors. Permanent conflicts with the Kingdom of Poland, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, and the Novgorod Republic, eventually lead to military defeat and containment by the mid-15th century. 
The last Grand Master Albert of Brandenburg converted to Lutheranism in 1525 and turned the remaining lands of the order into the secular Duchy of Prussia. Church and State Henry, 1086-1125, great-grandson of Conrad II, who had overthrown his father Henry IV became Holy Roman Emperor in 1111. Hoping to gain greater control over the church inside the empire, Henry appointed Adalbert of Saarbrücken as the powerful Archbishop of Mainz in the same year. Adalbert began to assert the powers of the church against secular authorities, that is, the emperor. This precipitated the crisis of 1111 as yet another chapter of the long-term investiture controversy. In 1137 the prince electors turned back to the Hohenstaufen family for candidate, Conrad III. Conrad tried to divest his rival Henry the Proud of his two duchies, Bavaria and Saxony, that lead to war in southern Germany as the empire was divided into two powerful factions. The faction of the Welfs or Guelphs, in Italian, supported the House of Wealth of Henry the Proud, which was the ruling dynasty in the Duchy of Bavaria. The rival faction of the Waiblings or Ghibellines, in Italian, pledged allegiance to the Swabian House of Hohenstaufen. During this early period, the Welfs generally maintained ecclesiastical independence, under the papacy and political particularism, the focus on ducal interests against the central imperial authority. The Waitlings, on the other hand, championed strict control of the church and strong central imperial government. During the reign of the Hohenstaufen Emperor Frederick, Barbarossa, an accommodation was reached in 1156 between the two factions. The Duchy of Bavaria was returned to Henry the Proud's son Henry the Lion, Duke of Saxony, who represented the Guelph party. However, the Margraviate of Austria was separated from Bavaria and turned into the independent Duchy of Austria by virtue of the privilege of minus in 1156 having become wealthy through trade, the confident cities of northern Italy, supported by the Pope, increasingly opposed Barbarossa's claim of feudal rule, honor emperi, over Italy. The cities united in the Lombard League and finally defeated Barbarossa in the Battle of Lagnano in 1176. The following year reconciliation was reached between the Emperor and Pope Alexander III in the Treaty of Venice. The 1183 Peace of Constance eventually settled that the Italian cities remained loyal to the Empire but were granted local jurisdiction and full regal rights in their territories. In 1180, Henry the Lion was outlawed, Saxony was divided, and Bavaria was given to Otto of Wittelsbach, who founded the Wittelsbach dynasty, which was to rule Bavaria until 1918. From 1184 to 1186, the empire under Frederick Barbarossa reached its cultural peak with the Diet of Pentecost held at Mainz and the marriage of his son Henry in Milan to the Norman princess Constance of Sicily. The power of the feudal lords was undermined by the appointment of ministerials, unfree servants of the emperor, as officials. Chivalry and the court life flowered, as expressed in the scholastic philosophy of Albertus Magnus and the literature of Wilhelm von Eschenbach between 1212 and 1250, Frederick II established modern, professionally administered state from his base in Sicily. He resumed the conquest of Italy, leading to further conflict with the papacy. In the empire, extensive sovereign powers were granted to ecclesiastical and secular princes, leading to the rise of independent territorial states. The struggle with the Pope sapped the empire's strength, as Frederick II was excommunicated three times. After his death, the Hohenstaufen dynasty fell, followed by an interregnum during which there was no emperor. The failure of negotiations between Emperor Louis IV and the papacy led to the 1338 declaration at Rennes by six princes of the imperial estate to the effect that election by all or the majority of the electors automatically conferred the royal title and rule over the empire without papal confirmation. As a result, the monarch was no longer subject to papal approbation and became increasingly dependent on the favor of the electors. Between 1346 and 1378 Emperor Charles IV of Luxembourg, King of Bohemia, sought to restore imperial authority. The 1356 decree of the Golden Bull stipulated that all future emperors were to be chosen by college of only seven, four secular and three clerical electors. The secular electors were the King of Bohemia, the Count Palatine of the Rhine, the Duke of Saxony, and the Margrave of Brandenburg. The clerical electors were the Archbishops of Mainz, Trier, 
and Cologne between 1347 and 1351 Germany and almost the entire European continent were consumed by the most severe outbreak of the Black Death pandemic. Estimated to have caused the abrupt death of 30 to 60 percent of Europe's population, it led to widespread social and economic disruption and deep religious disaffection and fanaticism. Minority groups, and Jews in particular were blamed, singled out and attacked. As consequence, many Jews fled and resettled in Eastern Europe. Change and reform the early modern European society gradually developed after the disasters of the 14th century as religious obedience and political loyalties declined in the wake of the Great Plague, the schism of the church and prolonged dynastic wars. The rise of the cities and the emergence of the new burgher class eroded the societal, legal and economic, order of feudalism. The commercial enterprises of the mercantile patriciate family of the Fuggers of Augsburg generated unprecedented financial means. As financiers to both the leading ecclesiastical and secular rulers, the Fuggers fundamentally influenced the political affairs in the empire during the 15th and 16th century. The increasingly money-based economy also provoked social discontent among knights and peasants and predatory robber knights became common. The knightly classes had traditionally established their monopoly through warfare and military skill. However, the shift to practical, mercenary infantry armies and military technical advances led to marginalization of heavy cavalry. From 1438 the Habsburg dynasty, who had acquired control in the southeastern empire over the Duchy of Austria, Bohemia and Hungary after the death of King Louis II in 1526 managed to permanently occupy the position of the Holy Roman Emperor until 1806, with the exception of the years between 1742 and 1745. However, the strict policy of dynastic rule over vast multi-ethnic territory, prevented the development of concepts of patriotism and unity among the empire's territorial rulers and national identity as in France and England. During his reign from 1493 to 1519, Maximilian tried to reform the empire. An imperial supreme court, Reichskammergericht, was established, imperial taxes were levied, and the power of the imperial diet, Reichstag, was increased. The reforms, however, were frustrated by the continued territorial fragmentation of the empire. Towns and cities' total population estimates of the German territories range around a million by the end of Henry E's reign in 1056 and about a million after Friedrich Barabaras's rule in 1190. The vast majority were farmers, typically in state of serfdom under feudal lords and monasteries. Towns gradually emerged and in the 12th century many new cities were founded along the trading routes and near imperial strongholds and castles. The towns were subjected to the municipal legal system. Cities such as Cologne, that had acquired the status of imperial free cities, were no longer answerable to the local landlords or bishops, but immediate subjects of the emperor and enjoyed greater commercial and legal liberties. The towns were ruled by council of the, usually mercantile, elite, the patricians. Craftsmen formed, guilds, governed by strict rules, which sought to obtain control of the towns. Few were open to women. Society had diversified, but was divided into sharply demarcated classes of the clergy, physicians, merchants, very skilled of artisans, unskilled day laborers and peasants. Full citizenship was not available to paupers. Political tensions arose from issues of taxation, public spending, regulation of business, and market supervision, as well as the limits of corporate autonomy. Cologne's central location on the Rhine River placed it at the intersection of the major trade routes between East and West and was the basis of Cologne's growth. The economic structures of medieval and early modern Cologne were characterized by the city's status as major harbor and transport hub upon the Rhine. It was the seat of an archbishop, under whose patronage the vast Cologne Cathedral was built since 1240. The cathedral houses sacred Christian relics and since it has become well-known pilgrimage destination. By 1288 the city had secured its independence from the archbishop, who relocated to Bonn, and was ruled by its burghers. Women from the early medieval period and continuing through to the 18th century, Germanic law assigned women to subordinate and dependent position relative to men. Salic, Frankish, law, from which the laws of the German lands would be based, placed women at disadvantage with regard to property and inheritance rights. 
Germanic widows required male guardian to represent them in court. Unlike Anglo-Saxon law or the Visigothic Code, Salic law barred women from royal succession. Social status was based on military and biological roles, reality demonstrated in rituals associated with newborns, when female infants were given lesser value than male infants. The use of physical force against wives was condoned until the 18th century in Bavarian law. Some women of means asserted their influence during the Middle Ages, typically in royal court or convent settings. Hildegard of Bingen, Gertrude the Great, Elizabeth of Bavaria, 1478-1504, and Argula von Grumbach are among the women who pursued independent accomplishments in fields as diverse as medicine, music composition, religious writing, and government and military politics. Learning and culture Benedictine Abbess Hildegard von Bingen, 1098-1179, wrote several influential theological, botanical, and medicinal texts, as well as letters, liturgical songs, poems, and arguably the oldest surviving morality play, while supervising brilliant miniature illuminations. About 100 years later, Walther von der Vogelweide, c. 1170, c. 1230, became the most celebrated of the Middle High German lyric poets. Around 1439, Johannes Gutenberg of Mainz used movable type printing and issued the Gutenberg Bible. He was the global inventor of the printing press, thereby starting the printing revolution. She printed books and pamphlets played central roles for the spread of the Reformation and the Scientific Revolution. Around the transition from the 15th to the 16th century, Albrecht Dürer from Nuremberg established his reputation across Europe as painter, printmaker, mathematician, engraver, and theorist when he was still in his twenties and secured his reputation as one of the most important figures of the Northern Renaissance. The addition Nationis Germanice, of German nation, to the emperor's title appeared first in the 15th century, in 1486 law decreed by Frederick III and in 1512 in reference to the imperial diet in Cologne by Maximilian I. By then, the emperors had lost their influence in Italy in Burgundy. In 1525, the Heilbronn Reform Plan, the most advanced document of the German Peasants' War, Deutsche Bayernkrieg, referred to the Reich as von Deutscher Nation, of German nation. Early modern Germany see list of states in the Holy Roman Empire for subdivisions and the political structure Protestant Reformation in order to manage their ever-growing expenses, the Renaissance popes of the 15th and early 16th century promoted the excessive sale of indulgences and offices and titles of the Roman Curia. In 1517, the monk Martin Luther published pamphlet with 95 theses that he posted in the town square of Wittenberg and handed copies to feudal lords. Whether he nailed them to church door at Wittenberg remains unclear. The list detailed 95 assertions, he argued, represented corrupt practice of the Christian faith and misconduct within the Catholic Church. Although perhaps not Luther's chief concern, he received popular support for his condemnation of the sale of indulgences and clerical offices, the Pope's and higher clergy's abusive power and his doubts of the very idea of the institution of the Church and the Papacy. The Protestant Reformation was the first successful challenge to the Catholic Church and began in 1521 as Luther was outlawed at the Diet of Worms after his refusal to repent. The ideas of the Reformation spread rapidly, as the new technology of the modern printing press ensured cheap mass copies and distribution of the theses and helped by the Emperor Charles versus wars with France and the Turks. Hiding in the Wartburg Castle, Luther translated the Bible into German, thereby greatly contributing to the establishment of the modern German language. This is highlighted by the fact that Luther spoke, only local dialect of minor importance during that time. After the publication of his Bible, his dialect suppressed others and constitutes to great extent what is now modern German. With the protestation of the Lutheran princes at the Imperial Diet of Speyer in 1529 and the acceptance and adoption of the Lutheran Augsburg Confession by the Lutheran princes beginning in 1530, the separate Lutheran Church was established. The 1524-25 German Peasants' War that began in the southwest in Alsace and Swabia and spread further east into Franconia, Thuringia and Austria, was a series of economic and religious revolts of the rural lower classes, encouraged by the rhetoric of various radical religious reformers and Anabaptists against the ruling feudal lords. 
although occasionally assisted by war experienced noblemen like Gotts von Berlichingen and Florian Gehr, in Franconia, and the theologian Thomas Munzer, in Thuringia, the peasant forces lacked military structure, skill, logistics and equipment and as many as 100,000 insurgents were eventually defeated and massacred by the territorial princes. The Catholic Counter-Reformation, initiated in 1545 at the Council of Trent was spearheaded by the scholarly religious Jesuit order, that was founded just five years prior by several clerics around Ignatius of Loyola. Its intent was to challenge and contain the Protestant Reformation via apologetic and polemical writings and decrees, ecclesiastical reconfiguration, wars and imperial political maneuverings. In 1547 Emperor Charles defeated the Schmalkaldic League, military alliance of Protestant rulers. The 1555 Peace of Augsburg decreed the recognition of the Lutheran faith and religious division of the empire. It also stipulated the ruler's right to determine the official confession in his principality, Caius Regio, Ius Religio. The Counter-Reformation eventually failed to reintegrate the central and northern German Lutheran states. Indiana, 1608-1609 The Protestant Union and the Catholic League were formed. Thirty Years' War, 1618-1648 The 1618-1648 Thirty Years' War, that took place almost exclusively in the Holy Roman Empire has its origins, that remain widely debated, in the unsolved and recurring conflicts of the Catholic and Protestant factions. The Catholic Emperor Ferdinand II attempted to achieve the religious and political unity of the Empire, while the opposing Protestant Union forces were determined to defend their religious rights. The religious motive served as the universal justification for the various territorial and foreign princes, who over the course of several stages joined either of the two warring parties in order to gain land and power. The conflict was sparked by the revolt of the Protestant nobility of Bohemia against Emperor Matthias' succession policies. After imperial triumph at the Battle of White Mountain and short-lived peace, the war grew to become political European conflict by the intervention of King Christian IV of Denmark from 1625 to 1630, Gustavus Adolphus of Sweden from 1630 to 1648 and France under Cardinal Richelieu from 1635 to 1648. The conflict increasingly evolved into struggle between the French House of Bourbon and the House of Habsburg for predominance in Europe, for which the central German territories of the empire served as a battleground. The war ranks among the most catastrophic in history as three decades of constant warfare and destruction have left the land devastated. Marauding armies incessantly pillaged the countryside, seized and levied heavy taxes on cities and indiscriminately plundered the foodstuffs of the peasantry. There were also the countless bands of murderous outlaws, sick, homeless, disrupted people and invalid soldiery. Overall social and economic disruption caused dramatic decline in population as a result of pandemic murder and random rape and killings, endemic infectious diseases, crop failures, famine, declining birth rates, wanton burglary, which unsend the emigration of terrified people. Estimates vary between 38% drop from 16 million people in 1618 to 10 million by 1650 and mere 20% drop from 20 million to 16 million. The Altmark and Württemberg regions were especially hard hit, where it took generations to fully recover. The war was the last major religious struggle in mainland Europe and ended in 1648 with the Peace of Westphalia. It resulted in increased autonomy for the constituent states of the Holy Roman Empire, limiting the power of the emperor. Alsace was permanently lost to France, Pomerania was temporarily lost to Sweden, and the Netherlands officially left the empire. Culture and literacy The population of Germany reached about 20 million people by the mid-16th century, the great majority of whom were peasant farmers. The Protestant Reformation was triumph for literacy and the new printing press. Luther's translation of the Bible into German was decisive impulse for the increase of literacy and stimulated printing and distribution of religious books and pamphlets. From 1517 onward religious pamphlets flooded Germany and much of Europe. The Reformation instigated media revolution as by 1530 over 10,000 individual works are published with total of 10 million copies. Luther strengthened his attacks on Rome by depicting good against bad church. It soon became clear that print could be used for propaganda in the Reformation for particular agendas. Reform writers used pre-Reformation styles, 
cliches, and stereotypes and changed items as needed for their own purposes. Especially effective were Luther's small catechism, for use of parents teaching their children, and larger catechism, for pastors. Using the German vernacular they express the Apostles' Creed in simpler, more personal, Trinitarian language. Illustrations in the newly translated Bible and in many tracts popularized Luther's ideas. Lucas Cranach the Elder, 1472-1553, the great painter patronized by the electors of Wittenberg, was close friend of Luther, and illustrated Luther's theology for popular audience. He dramatized Luther's views on the relationship between the Old and New Testaments, while remaining mindful of Luther's careful distinctions about proper and improper uses of visual imagery. Luther's German translation of the Bible was also decisive for the German language in its evolution from early New High German to modern standard. His Bible promoted the development of non-local forms of language and exposed all speakers to forms of German from outside their own area. Science The German astronomical community played central role in Europe in the early modern period. Several non-German scientists contributed to the community, such as Copernicus, the instigator of the scientific revolution who lived in Royal Prussia, part of Poland and Tycho Brahe, who worked in Denmark and Bohemia. Copernicus, whose mother was of German ancestry was better known inside the German community. Astronomer Johannes Kepler from Wilderstedt was one of the pioneering minds of empirical and rational research. Through rigorous application of the principles of the scientific method he construed his 